Hey everyone, in this video, I'm going to go over the different channel types available in Slack. Anyone planning to take the Slack admin exam is going to need to have a good understanding of all the channel types you see listed here. So as you can see, there are public channels, private channels, Slack connect channels, multi workspace channels, announcement only channels, and default channels. So if we start with public channels, public channels should be the default channel type in your workspace. Any member can create a public channel except for guests. All members can browse and join any public channel in their workspace. And members can search for files and messages in all public channels, including channels they aren't a part of. For private channels, private channels should be created for private discussions only. Users can only be added to a private channel by invite only. Private channels cannot be converted into public channels, but I do want to note that public channels can be converted to private channels. Only workspace owners and admins and org owners and admins can convert a channel from public to private. Once a channel has been converted to a private channel, files within that channel will not become private. And lastly, if you want to make a Slack Connect channel private, it will only become private for your workspace and it won't become private for the workspace in which you're sharing the channel. So essentially it would only become private to the members of your workspace and none of the external stakeholders that have access to that channel. And that's actually a good segue into Slack Connect Channels. Slack Connect Channels gives your team the ability to share channels with external organizations. It also allows members of your team to collaborate and share information without ever leaving your workspace. This enables members, customers, partners, lawyers, consultants, and any other stakeholder you invite to this channel access to the same secure channel. If we move on to multi-workspace channels, these types of channels are only available on the enterprise grid plan. Multi-workspace channels connect separate workspaces via one channel. So say I have a workspace for Cloud Qualified, and then I have another workspace for Slack training. I can create one channel. Let's just say I call that channel Slack Videos. I can share that Slack Videos channel with both of those workspaces, so users from both workspaces can collaborate in that one channel without having to be members of each other's workspaces. Multi-workspace channels can be public or private, and they also can be made org-wide, which would make the channel available to all members within your organization, regardless of the workspace they're a part of, and it would be mandatory for these members to join. If we move on to announcement-only channels, these types of channels are used to broadcast company news. A couple examples of announcement-only channels would be the hashtag general channel, and also you could create a channel called hashtag announcements-it, which could be company-wide announcements that are broadcast to all members of your workspace about any IT-related news. And finally, similar to announcement-only channels, we have default channels. Every Slack workspace has a default channel, the main example being the hashtag general channel. Default channels can be used to help onboard new members of your company, an example being hashtag HR-onboarding. You can set default channels for members to automatically join the first time they log in. So for someone new to your company, these would be the channels that they would immediately see when they first join your company. You might want to create a default channel that would welcome and direct new people to the right channels. You might create default channels to help new members access important information right away, or to even educate members about your company culture, policies, and benefits. I do want to note that the hashtag general channel cannot be converted to a private channel or a channel shared with external orgs via Slack Connect. So that's all I have for this video. All of the channels that I went over in this video are the channel types that you're going to need to have a good understanding of when preparing for the Slack admin exam. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you all for watching today, and I'll see you in the next video.